And this ordeal was just as frightening for business owners as it was for residents. This is surveillance video from Bueno Malo, a restaurant in Andover. The co-owner, Franco Lozano, can be seen looking under a deep fryer when suddenly a burst of flame shoots out because of that overpressurized gas. It was a terrifying moment, and what followed were many challenging weeks. More than 900 businesses were affected by the disaster. And here at Bueno Malo, Franco actually had to close the doors for seven long weeks. Christina Rex takes a look at how this restaurant and others are still working hard to get customers back in the door. We've lost so much, I can't even tell you. At Carleen's in Lawrence, cooks are bustling in the kitchen. Have a great day. And patrons are getting a fresh pour. It all looks normal, but business is slow and the owner is scrambling to fill seats like he used to. Five o'clock in the morning, six or seven tables of guys, different crews, all knowing each other, all talking over the tables. That morning rush is gone. The regulars eat at new spots because the 35-year-old diner shut down for 16 weeks after the gas explosions. Well, honestly, I, I figured three days. Week after week, owner John Farrington was sure his kitchen would reopen, only to have another stovetop or appliance need fixing by Columbia Gas. I threw my hands up and realized I had $10,000 of bad food. That helpless feeling hit every restaurant owner in the Merrimack Valley, including Franco Lozano at Bueno Malo in Andover. That first three weeks with uh, not knowing, you know, if our staff was going to have a job, not knowing if we were going to have money to, to pay my staff, it was, it was tough. The Mexican restaurant hadn't even been open a year when the explosions hit, sending flames from the deep fryer up to the ceiling and closing the restaurant for seven weeks. Physically, I might have been okay. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It was, um, you know, there's some lingering effects. One year later, Bueno Malo has bounced back. The town has really returned to us um, in force. Lozano is planning a restaurant week and finding ways to bring in new customers. For the young Andover restaurant, the technique is working. But for 35-year-old Carlene's of Lawrence, an old-school cash-only diner, bouncing back has been harder than expected. We don't want to go out of business. Uh, we just want to get back to a, a comfortable spot again. Good luck. In Lawrence, Christina Rex, WBZ News.